What's up, weight makers? It's me, Mommy Suna. La, 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 la. This is the second video I filmed today. <laughs> I already, you know, went downstairs, took my makeup off, went on a walk with my family, did all the things, and then this fell into my lap. So it's really interesting actually, because in my last like actual video, I mentioned Veronica. We are talking about Veronica Bay today. And it's so weird because like, I personally hadn't heard like anything from her in a long time. I think a lot of people, like a lot of us hadn't cause she went into real estate. I think we all just kind of moved on to other people and like Veronica Bay was just like, whatever. She got Married. Her name is Veronica Shearer, Shur, Shur, Sherby, Sherby Burby. What? Schreier. <laughs> it's Schreier. I don't know where I was getting Sherby. Sherby Burby. If you don't know who Veronica Bay is, I, like, up until recently, I hadn't really talked about her. And when I did talk about her, it was for totally unrelated reasons. She was one of the big dogs up there at the top of the pyramid scheme in Monet. But then she left Monet to go to iGenius. And then after that, she went into real estate. Real estate agencies and stuff are very similar similar to MLMs. They really are. Now, turns out she's making yet another pivot in her professional life. And obviously you read the title, you read the thumbnail. I haven't watched this full video. I watched the first couple minutes of it really just to see, cause I'm like, is this going to be like worth sitting through? Because this live is an hour long, but you know, I'm going to speed it up and then probably cut some dead air out and stuff. Yeah. Apparently she's going to be with doTERRA now. Excuse me, what? I guess it kind of makes sense because the reason I featured her in my last video is because she was very openly being like super transphobic. She's like weirdly religious, not just like a normal like people who talk about how much they love God, but like and they go to church every Sunday, like that kind of Christian. It's not, she's not one of those. She's like, the way she talks about it is very culty and like it's obsessive. So I don't know what like denomination she considers herself to be but she is very like christian extremist and i don't know if she was always that way she definitely is now so the reason i mentioned that is because it kind i guess it kind of adds up to move on to essential oils even though like young living is run by mormons so you would think that i mean obviously i don't think she's mormon but like you would think that that kind of jesus-y vibe is what she would go for but no she chose doTERRA instead like young living has uh, an essential oil kit that you can buy it's like the oil of the Bible or something like that. So I honestly am surprised. Although at the same time, maybe she just recognizes what the rest of us here in the anti-MLM movement recognize that Young Living is just on a downward trajectory and I don't expect it to survive much longer at this point. So as much as like I hate her decisions to continue to make her money off of scamming people, like I think she's also a smart businesswoman, which, you know, she's rich as hell. So I guess you have to be a smart business woman so anyway it's very interesting she did a live and that's what we're going to be reacting to today so of course before we get started make sure you leave a like on this video and try to watch it all the way through because youtube loves it when you do that it helps me out a lot thank you very much now all right and also she titled this tea time and i know she's gonna start going into some like tea that she's spilling about monet and why she left and stuff like that kind of a story that she didn't really talk about much i think we're just in for an interesting ride i have this sped up a little bit too so if she seems a little wired it's probably not her she talks really slow so she needs to be sped up anyway let's go i'm so grateful for all of you for all of you that i think i know the choice you made for all of you that support me that show love on me year after year um and just like are there th for me through my growth and through my seasons and you know can they stop with the season shit like i'm over it dude every time i hear it i just want to gag so he's just here for moral support <laughs> so like if you see him on his phone it's because he got bored of me let's start just saying the story it's not about me babe. months ago months ago i started feeling that i had buried something that was still alive okay that came to me today and no one understood me right when i say no one i mean my husband and my best friend who's my little sister who i was talking about this too and i think that in order for me to remain in my integrity, we have to talk a little bit about the past. And without saying too much, I just want to say the reason why I departed from where I initially built was because there was a difference in values, in value systems. So I had been put in a couple or a few actually situations where I was like, I don't agree with this. And I 
don't believe in selling your soul for money. Like I'm the kind of person, I've been this way since I was little. Like for me, being a righteous human is the most important and staying true to me. If you're gonna be someone who's gonna pop in here and be like, I don't believe in selling your soul for money. Why are you a serial MLMer then? Like, what are you doing with your life? You are living a lie. You are a walking hypocrisy is what you are. As far as I'm concerned, in my opinion. Yeah, and I think I feel comfortable calling her a serial MLMer at this point because she's been in multiple and she keeps jumping from company to company. The other thing is too, is that, so the place she initially built, she's talking about Mane. For her to say that they have like different values, it's really interesting to me. I'm like, what could they possibly be? Because I don't mean to harp on the, like she's being an obsessive Christian lady these days, but like Mane was too. Like Mane has a yearly faith call. They probably have multiple that we just haven't seen. At least they have like an annual yearly call where they literally just like pray to God for his blessings upon Mane pretty much. And they sing songs and then Stuart McMillan, the uh, president, vice president? I don't know what he is. I don't care. He gets up there and he does a little sermon and yeah, I have a whole video watching the whole thing. It is basically a church service that is all about trying to get God to bless their multi-level marketing company. It's pretty wild. That being said, like what values is she talking about? Because she loves that shit. I'm serious guys. If you go to her Instagram or I guess any social media, she's on it. <laughs> like she is on this Jesus shit all the time. Every single thing she posts, every story, every post on Instagram has to do with God. So she's like super into it. That's why I'm like, so what is it that you didn't agree with in Mon 8? Like the leaders are Jesus freaks. Thought you loved that shit. Well, you know, maybe it's not the God stuff. Maybe it's they wanted me to sell my soul for money. And it's like, okay, well, every MLM has you do that. So like, what's the truth? Go into specifics, please. And my story doesn't have to be everyone else's story. And just because I made that decision for myself doesn't mean that everyone else has to do it, which is why I don't agree with bashing, like very hurtful things happened, but it's, we're a year later and everything is good and um, life as well. And for someone asking on the chat, yes, I'm talking about the first company I ever worked with, Monate. Reason for my departure was that simply. And it's funny because I was praying before this live and I was like, God, can you give me words for me to be able to express myself but not say too much? And then I just, wrote in my daily entry, which I hadn't done. And the quote for today was, the deepest craving of human nature is the need to feel appreciated. And I think that was one of the biggest things is that at a big moment, I felt like I wasn't and I decided to leave. Whether that was the right or wrong decision, everyone is entitled to their opinion. In my life, I feel like it was the right one. So she was at the top of a fucking pyramid scheme and she didn't feel appreciated there. I mean, you guys are all just cash cows for these people. Like how many times do we have to say it? They don't care. The leaders don't care. Corporate doesn't care. They care that you are making them money period. Jump to any MLM. They're going to love you as long as you're making money for them. But oh, isn't Veronica also the one? Now again, correct me if I'm wrong. I could be thinking of someone else, but I think it might have been Veronica where she dropped like four ranks in a month or something like that. Like she was losing money there. She wasn't making as much. So she, that's partially why I think she decided to leave. So I wonder if she like raised a stink to corporate and was like, Hey, I'm losing money. Like do something about it. And they're like, no, it's an equal playing field, hun. Everyone is struggling, not just you. And then she got mad and left. I don't know. Usually these companies are like really good at love bombing you and making you feel appreciated until you either do something to not receive that appreciation anymore, or you stop making the money. So what was it? Aren't you guys all about personal responsibility? Like, what did you do to make Monet stop being appreciative of you, you know? Turn the page, join the other company, iGenius, and that was a very rash decision. And I realized that now in retrospect, a hard fact is that I ran out of fear. So I recognized I'm out of integrity. I'm in a company that requires me to recruit people in order to grow. And I don't believe in where I'm at right now and I can't recruit and I decided I have to leave. So she's admitting that the whole time she was in iGenius, which I don't know if or when she's left, but last I checked, like literally when I made a video about her, well, she was featured in one of my videos and I went to her milkshake, well, I don't know if it was milkshake, but you know, one of those links on her social media that has like all of her links and it was talking about teaching people how to trade and stuff. So either she didn't update that and she like left a while ago and she just forgot to update that part or she was still in iGenius, which means she would have 
been there for a year at least. Like how many people did you recruit though? Cause she's sitting here like, I couldn't be successful if I wasn't recruiting, blah de blah de blah. And it's like, okay, well, I mean, first of all, basically every MLM is like that. I can't think of a single MLM that you can raise to the top of the company without recruiting a single person. That's the industry you're in. So any company you're gonna jump to is going to be the same way. What are you talking about? Talk about unrealistic expectations that you have set for yourself. <laughs> so weird. I mean, she probably brought people over from money, but she had to have recruited people while she was still an iGenius. And now she's like, oh, I didn't want to recruit people because I just didn't feel right about where I was. But it's like, but you probably did still recruit people, right? You had to have recruited someone. And also, also, how much research did you do <laughs> between leaving Monet and jumping to iGenius? How did you not know that you were going to have to recruit people to be successful over there? I don't get it. I can be very impulsive, right, honey? <laughs> um, so I ran to like the first thing that I found and it was a great company. I love the people there, but I started that business with a business partner who was a trader. Okay. And shortly into the business, he recognized he didn't want to do network marketing. And at that moment I was like, oh my God. Okay. But like my whole business plan was with him. And then I recognized I didn't want to do trading. I didn't want to build a whole business on trading. I've found myself constantly having to play catch up and trying to be an expert when I wasn't. And I found also personally that I didn't want to sell a service. I very much so enjoyed selling products better. So once again, to remain in my integrity and in my authenticity, because I could have just stayed building, but that's just not the way I am. I like to be honest. I like to be truthful to, you know, what I'm feeling. Okay, so why are you waiting until now to finally be truthful about how you felt when you were an iGenius? It sounds to me like there was probably a period of time where you were feeling a certain way, but you weren't telling people that. Wow, so truthful, so honest, wow. So what happened after that? You know, I ran again and I was like, I need to get out of here. So I got out of there and guys, when I decided to pursue real estate in January, I mean, no foul there, right? Okay, so she left Monet, I, I wanna say early 2022, which is when she would have jumped ship to iGenius. That sounds right in my head, but I could be a little off, I don't know. That's like months though. You would say probably at least like six months that she was actively trying to promote iGenius. I don't know, dude. It sounds to me like she was faking it till she makes it and then realized she couldn't fake it anymore. I did it because I could make a lot of money. And that's the truth, right? I'm like, okay, I'm out of network marketing. I'm not going to go back to news reporting, which was my career. What am I going to do? Okay, let me become a realtor. Veronica didn't think about the fact that we're going through like a recession. <laughs> it's a horrible market that just never crossed my mind because I don't look at obstacles. I just look at solutions. This woman does no research for anything. She makes these huge life decisions and doesn't research them at all. Plus the market has been shit in the housing market for a few years now. Like, I don't even know if you need to do research to come to that conclusion. Like, you need to just think about it for like 30 seconds and be like, oh yeah, the housing market is completely unaffordable right now. Also, who the fuck wants to move to Florida? <laughs> Anyways, I recognize that there's no better industry than network marketing. Like being in real estate for just six months, I recognize the weekends, like open houses, driving people around, chaotic life. Like you're constantly go, 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 which is cool but not for me because I've already experienced network marketing. You know, I've already experienced the beauty of building an at-home business and now I'm a wife and now I'm a woman that aspires to be a mother and very quickly, one plus one equals two. How am I gonna be a mom and be at open houses and drive clients around and do all these things? And then it hit me like, I don't think this is gonna be my full-time thing. I love real estate. I believe in real estate. I will continue to invest in real estate and I will continue to do real estate, but as a part-time thing, it will not be my bread and butter because I know better. And when I started having those realizations, I was like, dude, network marketing is my thing. And network marketing allows me to impact a lot of people. But also through this journey, I have really worked on my faith and my connection to God and spirituality. And there were so many days that I was lost, guys. I tell you here like, oh, you know, I was thinking about go going back to network marketing, but I didn't even know if it was gonna be that. I was so confused. like such a lost little girl and all i kept saying was 
all I want to do, like my ultimate happiness would be to glorify God. Like whatever I end up doing, Lord, like I just want to raise your name. I want to be around people where I feel comfortable doing that. I just want to stand in such a big purpose. But you could have done that in Mon 8. They all do that. So what was the issue there? Also, you could pick any MLM. Just about any MLM loves Jesus. So I'm just curious to know why she ended up going with doTERRA. I think if you had to rank the most religious and God-loving MLMs, the essential oil ones are probably close to the top. Just because they love frankincense. And, you know, there was frankincense in the Bible. So, therefore, essential oils are Jesus's thing. So, <laughs> like, literally, like, frankincense and myrrh. And they're just like, oh, so essential oils is where I should go because Jesus used those herbs. <laughs> and it's like, sure, dude. I don't ever want to make a decision again because of the money. I just want to be somewhere where I feel safe. But isn't she making this decision because of money? She literally said that like the real estate market is shit because no one's moving houses and there wasn't enough money in it. And like she said, she moved to real estate from iGenius for money. If I'm thinking that she's the correct person, she would have left Monet because within a month she was like dropping multiple ranks. So she was clearly losing money there. And now she's just like, yeah, real estate is too much. It's too go, go, go all the time, which like, again, you had time to do your research on this. How did you not figure this out? She wasn't making enough money. So now here she is going back to network marketing. It sounds to me like this is a decision based on money too. Like you left money, left that team, left that money sitting on the table. And now you're like regretting leaving a network marketing company that you were decent sized in. And now you want that back because of the money, right? Don't sit here and try to tell us that you're doing this shit because because I just want to be closer to God. I don't believe that for a second. I think that's a load of crap. Safe with the people around me, safe with the future I'm building with whatever company or venture it is. And, um, you know, after a lot of prayer, I recognized, okay, I definitely want to get into network marketing. Again, I don't know what's going on in the comments. I went on to get out with a friend who is in Q Sciences, and I told her, bring me your products, I wanna try them. Um, and she did, and I tried them. And my husband, when he had looked into their products, he's like, I don't like them, they're blends, like they don't put their nutritional facts, whatever. I tried them and they were amazing, and he liked them too. So I spoke to my friend, guys, and wait for the climax, because right now all of you guys are guessing things, and you don't even know what you're guessing. I had a heart to heart with my friend, and I was like, I haven't felt called to anything, but I just am called to network marketing, So you know, tell me more about it. And one thing led to another and I spoke with some people in corporate and they were like, oh, let's fly you out and let's meet. And I was like, okay, cool, let's do that, figure it all out. And then that's when God decided to intervene. We actually like Q Sciences, we tried the products, I have a lot of friends in that company and I love my friends in that company, but I'm not going there. <laughs> um, I went there, I checked them out but before I even made it to Utah to check them out, I was at a real estate conference. And this is when I had decided I am getting back to network marketing and I am never making a decision based off of money. And I need to be a place <laughs> and I need to be in a place where I feel peace and where I feel longevity and where I feel at home. That makes sense why she didn't choose Young Living then because there's no longevity in that company right now. So I went to a real estate conference and in that real estate conference, I met a lawyer. And when I met this plot twist AF, like y'all, I will tell you that when you pray to God with like convictions, he delivers to the freaking T in the weirdest ways. So yeah, all of you guys are wrong about Q. <laughs> Okay, but she was already looking for a place. Like, it sounds to me like this is, what is that logical fallacy called? Confirmation bias? Yeah, she was just like looking for an MLM already. And then when she, I don't know what her reason is, she's gonna get into it, but whenever she found the reason that she just deciding to join doTERRA, I bet it's gonna be like the most basic shit. Just like, yeah, I guess that could have happened with any company, but okay, yeah, sure, it was God. I'm at this real estate convention and I had been to, so I'm part of this mastermind, right? And I paid a lot of money to be a part of this mastermind and I haven't been making too much money. So it was a decision that made no sense. Like I didn't even want to tell my husband, I'll just say here, I paid 15 K to be a part of this mastermind. And it had three events that led up to the event where I spoke to this guy, but it's a lawyer. I had met him at the other two events of the mastermind. Um, and one day we were just talking and I told him, I was like, Oh yeah, I'm going to Utah in a couple days. I'm checking out a network marketing company. 
And he literally told me, oh my God, my wife and I were top earners with a network marketing company that's in Utah. And <laughs> like, what? I was like, okay. And at this point, I'm like, sir, don't confuse me. Don't tell me about your network marketing company. I'm finally going to check one out. And I've been confused for months. Don't confuse me. So he tells me it's doTERRA. And when he tells me doTERRA, all I can think about is my best friend's mom, Gina. Gina is the woman that brought me to God when I was about 12 years old. They live in Calabasas, California. And every time I go to Gina's house, she's got a million oils, always trying to fix my life with her oils. And I always ignored Gina. <laughs> like I was like, okay, Gina's just obsessed. I don't know what this oil stuff is, but I ignored it. So you mean to tell me that you have a lady in your life that you're close to who every time you saw her, she was throwing essential oils at you and you didn't feel immediately like drawn to them. It sounds like they weren't working. It sounds like, you know, she's throwing essential oils at you to fix whatever part of your life. And then you leave her and you're like, oh, that's weird that lady is weird why does she keep putting oils all over me and then like you don't notice any positive effects coming from it i guess you think that those oils are gonna work now now that you actually believe in them uh sounds like a placebo ma'am seriously what the hell you can't be like oh yeah god definitely put this guy in my path so that i knew i had to join doTERRA you go to any person in a network marketing whether they're top distributors or they just joined doesn't matter who it is if you mention to anyone who is in a multi-level marketing company that you're thinking about joining one, of course they're gonna be like, yeah, join my team. Like you're shocked that you told a guy in MLM that you wanted to join an MLM and he's like, join my MLM. <gasps> Oh, God definitely did that. That was God. No, no, you were already looking for one. You're the one who initiated this conversation in the first place with this guy. He didn't just like randomly DM you and ask you to join doTERRA. Like you hadn't told anybody that you wanted to pick up multi-level marketing again, and blah, blah, blah. And like, he's just like randomly had it on his heart to message you. Like it wasn't anything like that. Like you literally told him you were looking. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. I can't wait to hear her reasons for what made her choose doTERRA over Q Sciences. When I went, so this guy was like, yeah, Veronica, I mean, I've, from what I know of you so far, I think you would love it. If you're already going to be in Utah, why don't you just come? And I was dismissing him. Like, if he's watching this, sorry, Victor. I was dismissing him. And, um... <laughs> And the next day, because it was a two-day workshop, he shows up with a bag full of products, like from... Oh, he's a shark in the water. You spilled blood in the water, and he heard you say, yeah, I'm thinking about joining an MLM again. And he fucking pounced, didn't he? Yeah, he sure did. He brought you a bunch of the oils, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He just happened to have those sitting around because, oh no, they don't hold an inventory. Oh no, they're not product. They're not hoarding products. No, this is just his personal stash. I'll have to go buy Buy some new ones. No, no. See, you know, normal people would have looked at that as a red flag. Like, imagine you tell somebody, like, yeah, I'm thinking about joining an MLM, and the next day they show up and shove a bag full of products in your face. Wouldn't you think, like, whoa, like this was really fast, and this is a lot of product. You just had this. Like, why do you have so much? product on hand. Is this a necessity? Is this part of the business? Do I have to also have this much product on hand? You know, like that's how a normal person should think of that situation. It should be a red flag. But to her, she's, uh, she hasn't finished her sentence yet, but she's probably just going to be like, oh yeah, I tried the products and I just fell in love with them. Like the lady who brought you to God, her use of essential oils couldn't bring you to that conclusion. But suddenly this guy who sees money bags when he looks into your eyes, <laughs> suddenly his shit works. Like I I can't, dude. It's so ridiculous. Okay, so I grab the bag, I come home, and I drop it on my table. Never opened it, didn't care to try them. I. Sorry, that's my dog. Point is, my curious husband opened the bag. And as you guys know, my curious husband is very big into health, he's very big into science, and he tried. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh God. He's very big into science, you say. If that's the case, then he shouldn't have even been interested in, like, he would have opened that bag and seen essential oils and been like, there's nothing scientific about this shit. If he looks at a bag of essential oils and his first thought is, oh, wow, I need to try all these to see what they're all about. Cause you know, I, I love science and all that. It doesn't sound like he's into actual science. It sounds like he's like into pseudoscience, like naturopathic bullshit. Like 99% of the 
claims that these people make are not factually and scientifically sound. They're just not. So if your husband is just so into science, he should have taken one look at these products and been like, oh, yeah, babe, we're not getting into essential oils because like I like science so much that like I don't want to taint our reputation. Like then at that point, why wouldn't you join a company called Q Sciences? <laughs> I can't. He was like, babe. This stuff is amazing. He's like, are you joining this company? Because one of the biggest struggles I've had with choosing a company is that I want him to back him, back me up because like we're husband and wife. And if he could help me promote whatever I do, it will be so much, there will be so much more synergy. So when he told me that he loved the products, he started drinking the Digest Sun, which helps with digestion. And he said that his digestion in just like two days had drastically changed. So he ingested something and started pooping a lot more. Hey, you can do that with like any stool softener, you know. doTERRA is not the only company that makes something that makes you poop more. When he told me that, I was like, oh my God, hold up. Like now I need to check this thing out. And Victor had told me, if you're already gonna be in Utah, I'll fly out and we'll check out doTERRA. So God works his magic once more. And that same weekend that I was scheduled to go to see the other company, that same weekend, one of doTERRA's top leaders who lives in Utah was having an event at her house. They probably have events at their houses every weekend. Are you kidding me? Their entire life is a doTERRA event. Are you serious? And you know, you know that the moment that one of these people hears like, hey, Veronica Bay, you know, the Veronica Bay, cause she was a big name in Monet. She's been a big name in multi-level marketing. The moment anyone heard, hey, she's gonna come out to Utah to check out doTERRA. Everyone scrambles. Everyone's like, oh, 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 we gotta get her in with us because, you know, we're gonna get all this money. If she, if Veronica Bay is promoting doTERRA, like, we're gonna get so much money. Put an event together real quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's either that or it's probably both, but like, come on, these people are always having events every weekend. Guarantee it. If you go to Utah, every single MLM probably has an event going on out there any given weekend. It's the MLM capital of the world, dude. This is ridiculous. And for her to be like, oh, Oh yeah, it was definitely God. God's just working his magic. You are the one who did all this. You went looking, you reached out a hand and was like, please someone give me an opportunity. Please someone make this decision for me. <laughs> and the universe delivered because you asked for it. You looked another person in the face and said, I want to join another MLM. And he said, okay, that wasn't God. You were communicating with him. Like you were, you did that. <laughs> and then you're shocked that when you go to Utah, that there's a doTERRA event going on when you're there? Dude, <laughs> dude, to anyone who's not like super brainwashed by a cult, religion, an MLM, no matter what it is, you look at the situation from the outside and you go, yeah, this is all adding up because that's just like the natural progression of things. When you say to somebody who's in an MLM that you want to join an MLM, then these things do start happening and it's not God. <laughs> it's because you literally asked for them. Please. Oh, you're shocked that a drink that's supposed to help with your digestion clearly made your husband poop more? That's what it's made to do. It's a laxative. And also doTERRA is not the only place that makes shit that makes you poop. That's not God. That's a laxative. <laughs> that should be on a t-shirt. That's not God. That's a laxative. <laughs> it was a two day event. I was going to be in Austin for one of the days. So I was only going to make it to the second event. The first day was the main day where they talk about the company. The second day was about business building, which I don't really need. So I was like, eh, I wonder what's going to happen at this event. We'll see. Morning of, we're leaving Austin at like 4 a.m. And we get to the airport with like 50 minutes to spare, almost an hour. I thought we were good. The lines were insane. And I'm looking at Marcus and I'm like, what the hell do we do? And one thing led to another. They didn't let us check in our bags and we had to divide and conquer. So I ran to the plane and he stayed with our bags in Austin. And when I get to Utah, Victor picks me up and we drive to this event. I have zero expectations. Her entire reason for wanting to check out doTERRA is because her husband was like, these drinks made me poop. But then she's like, hey, how about you stay here with the bags and I'll go check. Like he's the one who wants to look into it more. And you're just like, no, 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 honey, you stay here with our suitcases. I'm gonna go look now. Why wouldn't you send your husband? <laughs> you seem pretty set on Q Sciences and your husband is the one who like even wanted you to look into doTERRA. So like you should have said, him <laughs> oh my god i'm thinking this whole time i'm going with you know this other company because my <laughs> friends are there they're growing there they're making money it's a new company it's a momentum opportunity whatever but victor takes me to this 
mega mansion <laughs> in Utah, this beautiful home. And I'm just like, oh my God, who's going to be inside this home? Very impressive, I'm and sure. I met the most humble people. Like the kind of people that you just like, you're around them and you feel their heart. And lately I've developed this like very annoying sense where I can feel energies so easily and so can my husband. Um, and I think that it's like a good thing, but also uh, sometimes annoying thing. Cause I'm like, I wanted to like this person and now I don't like them. Oh my God, this is so hard. But in that place, I just felt pure love, pure peace. And this was, the people hosting this event are people that have been with this company for 14 years and they're still hosting events at their house nowadays it's a mega mansion <laughs> but it's still events in their house and their love for the products and the mission and you know now i want to go into the why because when i looked into into doTERRA more i came across this beautiful video called genesis after we went to that the, we spent the whole day at this woman's house and it was beautiful and my eyes were tearing up because there were a ton of like older wiser people and i've had this deep yearning in my heart to put myself around people that i could learn from um you know i feel like god since i was a little girl gave me all this wisdom and all this maturity and i feel like i'm in a point in my life that i just want to learn from people and i want to be inspired by the way people move and you know i felt that in that room and it was beautiful so amazing experience, right? Then this man who I had left in Austin, he had gotten on a flight. It's midday, it's like 3 p.m. This other event's done. We Marcus meets us at the actual doTERRA campus now. So guys, this is a $2.5 billion company. They've got like a bunch of buildings and it's a Saturday. And I'm telling Victor like, oh my God, you like made, you booked for us to come see this. Like, are you sure we don't have to? Like, I know it's Saturday. We get to this ginormous campus and two top like the main guy like the first guy pretty much to ever start with doTERRA like the number one person that's ever been signed up is there so a distributor waiting for us and there's also people from corporate they're waiting for us yeah you you know why all of this is happening because you said you were interested that's it that's it this none of this happened by chance none of it these people heard veronica bay from monate fame is looking for a new mlm and she's got her sights set on us or q sciences so we need to make an impression now nothing is shocking about this at all like people that work at the warehouse waiting for us just to meet us too like we are nobodies and victor told me veronica I didn't do this so to convince you to join. I just wanted to show you the heart of doTERRA. Why else would you show her the heart of doTERRA if you don't want her to join? Please! And Veronica knows how MLMs work. The more people who sign up under you, the more successful you are. And Veronica is a MLM powerhouse. Any distributor who has her signed up underneath them, they're setting up for a big old payday, honey. You know why? Because you, as an upline, make both bonuses, make advancements, make more money off of the people you sign up. And if the person you sign up is signing a bunch of other people up and selling all these products and whatever, you're getting a fat payday. She knows this. Don't sit here and look us in the face, Veronica, and try to make it sound like, oh no, this is all just innocent. He just like really loves doTERRA and just really just wanted me to see it. No, he wanted to recruit you and I know you were not that naive, please. And these people, are happy that you're here and I was like of oh course God, they we'll, are we'll see like because I could feel energy remember so I was like when I actually am around these people we'll see if I'm a big burden to their life what ended up happening was that you're a burden to all of our lives Veronica the joy and love that I felt that these people feel for this company had me like crying and at one point there was a guy who worked at the warehouse who once again i remind you showed up on a saturday to show this random girl one person and her husband the facilities while they were close you are not a random girl you are a network marketing beast and everybody knows it this warehouse manager is talking and i'm just looking at the intensity and the love that he has for what he's doing and i just knew i just knew that i had found a company that was rare 
I knew I had found a place that shares my morals and my values. Isn't it funny though that you hear the exact same talking points coming out of every MLM distributor in every MLM ever. Every company, if you ask their distributors to describe why they love the company and they love the products and they're like, they're gonna give you similar stories. They all feel this way. Nothing about this is unique. And my ethics and my love for people and my love for God and my love for healing. And doTERRA started as an essential oils company and nowadays they have vitamins, they've got skincare, they've even got hair care. They have all these amazing products that are all made with the purest essential oils. Are they the purest? Oh, I thought Young Living has the purest. Oh, wait, which one is the purest? Hey, at the very least, at least we can say that doTERRA, I'm pretty sure doTERRA releases their, what are they called? GCMS? testing reports. I think that's the acronym for it. You know what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure they release those. Young Living does not do that. So at the very least, doTERRA has that and they will publish their purity. Young Living won't do that. So at least there's that. But I mean, still. <laughs> they believe that nature can heal us. And okay, you have five minutes. It's your time. Go, go, go. Say something. <laughs> Come on. He loves the company so much that I'm just like, I joined I mean, a big part because of I him. Think, I think the most important thing is when you're when you're promoting a product, like you need to love the product. And like, I mean, I personally think that you like you just gotta go with the science. Like, what is the what is like? If you have to go with the science, then you're gonna make a 180 and turn the other way away from essential oils. There's no science there. The science there is 99% like bullshit. Where can you actually really? Put your name behind it because like the reason why i personally have never promoted any supplements was because i like i'm so aware of my brand and my name my brand and my brand my clients my athletes they trust me uh, with their eyes closed and i would never put my my name or like my brand behind something that isn't 100 right with myself and and yeah i like i just really think that i don't know like it was a lot of like crazy coincidences and I think it was right place, right time. And a few of the products that I personally have tried out, like I've not only like felt it on myself, like I'm the one that like looks up PubMed, I look up studies, I read them, I read the research. And it was crazy because like a lot of their products, like they have legit research. And like, I was the one in the past, like honestly, like I, I laughed at people that were doing stuff with essential oils because I was just like, yeah, that's like- As you should. I mean, what research are you talking about? I'm sure there's been plenty of studies, but like, give me one that's been peer reviewed, you know? Like, I don't trust that shit. It is very well known at this point that most of the things that people say about essential oils, that they say that they can do, it's, there's just no science to prove any of that. And if for you, buddy, you're a guy who loves the science and blah, 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 I've never promoted supplements because like, I'm a science guy, but now I'll like support some, essential oil bullshit that my wife wants to do. It's not adding up. None of it makes sense. Don't sit here and try to say that doTERRA has like a scientific edge over other supplements because they don't. Not even supplements, just like essential oils in general. I used to laugh at people who do essential oils, but now I get it. It's like, why? Because suddenly there's an income opportunity there for you. Now you'll change your mind. Like, wow. Integrity who? It's like the stuff that, I don't know, like some mother would do you know like with their friends and oh my god this is so good this is helping and like you know like it's just not something that i really like thought was true but then because it's not actually like before veronica got started i personally have um i did a little bit of research because one of my clients she had some some issues with with digestion and i came across things like peppermint and i was like this is interesting so let me look that up and even like a few months before that, um, I was doing research on uh, improving testosterone in men, in men and I found this this other thing, uh, I think called Idaho Blue Spruce or something like that. I feel like I know a lot about the talking points of uh, certain essential oils, but like I've heard about the Blue Spruce shit. I don't really know much about that, but I, it sounds too good to be true to me that like you can balance your hormones and like promote testosterone by taking an essential oil but i digress hey guys real quick after a, a short stint of internet sleuthing about the idaho blue spruce stuff i cannot find a single like reputable source reputable study that says that idaho blue spruce whatever can help maintain or promote testosterone levels or whatever like all these things that these people are trying to say that it does when you google it it basically just brings you to a bunch 
bunch of wellness blogs, essential oil blogs, and the top few results all kind of lead back to people shilling Young Living. So one of these Young Living blogs cites a guy named Dr. Dan Purser who conducted his own trial. And the source that they link brings it to his personal website. And he's like a natural medicine guy. He specializes in root cause wellness. He came up with his own thing that's like the purser method. I don't know. Honestly, he looks like a quack, but he's the only like MD name that I can find regarding anything about this situation. But otherwise, I'm not finding any reputable sources at all. Just another example of how all these things that these essential oil people claim, they're just not backed by science at all. What this one guy who's a natural medicine guy like said that it does this. Okay, great. Like I want to see the test report reports like where is the proof i can't find it so anyway just putting this in here to call bs with the peppermint oil thing he's right in the way that there is scientific evidence to suggest that peppermint can help with nausea but i don't know about the rest of the digestive system maybe but like for example like in pregnancy they say that you know if you're feeling nauseous you can pop a mint or uh, chew some gum or whatever or even like peppermint essential oil as a smell like to smell it like for aromatherapy because peppermint has that effect like it's been scientifically proven time and time again it is a well trusted i don't know if you'd call it an old wives tale like it's just pretty much been proven to be helpful with those kind of things so okay he's right on that but like how many products does doTERRA have how many essential oils do they have because like i know young living has hundreds like doTERRA probably also has hundreds and you cannot sit here and say that those like every single essential oil does all the things that these people say it does because they're just there really is not scientific evidence to support most of the things that these people say however peppermint is one of them that and i think lavender like to promote like with aromatherapy to promote calmness and blah 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 like that kind of stuff i think there is like actual like evidence to support some stuff with lavender i know like oregano essential oil like has been shown to kill like viruses but in a petri dish and not actually within the human body body. There's those kind of little loopholes and stuff like that where it's like, yeah, in a laboratory setting, they'll do this. But like, if you try to translate that into the human body, it just like does not work. And you can't achieve that without poisoning yourself. It's like, yeah, if you want to consume enough oregano essential oil to remove a virus from your body, sure, you can do that, but you're gonna die. You will achieve eradicating that virus, but you will also eradicate your life. Bye bye. All these people are just like, oh, well, because there was this study that they did on rats therefore this effect will be had in humans and it's like not all the time has that been studied on humans no okay so i guess you can't know i don't know if you guys know this but human beings are not rats so like even though there are some similarities between the way we're built and all that like that's the reason why they use rats in these situations but like it's not a one-to-one -one comparison dude also anything that is proven to work in a petri dish that cannot translate one-to-one to the human body it just doesn't it can't that's not how it works sir if you're gonna be like super into science here and and be the science doTERRA guy you need to use judgment on all of these things you need to be honest with yourself about the fact that so many of the things that you are probably going to be pushed to promote about what these products can do you gotta be honest with yourself and know that like most of that isn't true but he won't do that because money's on the table at this point they're distributors now money's on the table you guys, I guarantee that Veronica signed up and then recruited him as her downline. I bet. Which I actually bought for myself because I just wanted to check it out. And like, I feel like everything that I've tried so far in that world has been really positive and like has helped me. And yeah, I mean, we actually had a fight about... Um, a fight? No, like not about Rotera, <laughs> but, but about Q because I was like, listen, like Q is a, it's a, I think it's a good company, but... There's a few products where I'm just like, ah, I don't really know if I can really promote that. But doTERRA's hundreds of products, you're gonna sit here and be like, I can promote every single one of these. I doubt it. There's gotta be a doTERRA product that you don't like. That's not gonna work for you that you haven't tried yet. But oh, no, no, no. Since Q had a product that you didn't like, it's like, oh, I can't go with Q. No, no. I thought 
Q Sciences like supposedly had like a really good compensation plan. Maybe because like all the big MLMers jumped ship to go to Q Sciences. Like it was like Q Sciences and Tranaunt at the same time were booming because like everyone was leaving their MLMs to join those two MLMs. I wonder if maybe like that played a role in why Veronica was just like, oh, I don't know about Q Sciences because like there's too much competition. And while doTERRA is not a company that is like not well known, or it's not, you know, it's a huge company. She even said it's a $2.5 billion company. There's saturation there too, but like everyone who like, for example, left Monate to join Q Sciences or left to join Tranaunt or whatever, I don't think a single one of them would have picked doTERRA, you know? So she's not competing with her friends at doTERRA. She's competing with a bunch of Mormon, <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, listen, Veronica is fucking beautiful. Like, I look at her and I'm like, that is a beautiful fucking woman, dude. Not to say that people who promote doTERRA can't be beautiful, but like, there's a certain kind, like, there's a stereotype there. That they're just very, like, purity, Mormon, conservative, like, and, and obviously she's all those things too, like, internally, not Mormon, but like, God-loving, conservative values and things like that, but she has a face and she presents herself in a way that makes you want to be her friend. She comes off as a friendly, well-meaning person. She loves God. And, and then the freaking sign behind her says, I'm a powerhouse. And she is. She will bring a new life to doTERRA. She will. I'm telling you this right now. We would be silly to say that, like, this didn't play a part in her decision to join doTERRA over any other company. None of her friends joined doTERRA. She doesn't have to compete with people that she cares about. She has to compete with some Mormons. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. And I'm like, no, like, I just have to put my name behind something where I'm like 100% sure that this is the right thing for um, for my clients as well, or like for her clients. And yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's the most important thing to like have a product where you're like, okay, like there's research, um, the company has the right intentions, which I think like, I would, we were both so surprised about the whole experience there. There is not a single $2.5 billion company out there that has intentions that fall outside of money. Like, I'm sorry. Because the people who started doTERRA were working for Young Living and they left Young Living because there was like shit they didn't like at Young Living. And obviously they were very successful in starting their own essential oil company. But they were like, hey, we can build our own company and make a shitload of money our way. And that's what they did. Hello, that's what they did. And now they're a $2.5 billion company like the intentions were money their way that's it yeah i think it's it's a great product i think it's a lot of has a lot of potential it has a lot of other has a lot of research um the oils are pure so like it's just research that's not peer reviewed i don't know if i would necessarily call anecdotal evidence from a bunch of huns on facebook research but all right no so it'd be like oh there's these clinical studies it's like okay were they peer reviewed were they funded by doTERRA tell me all these things and again at the very least the one thing i can say for doTERRA over young living is that they are not shy about hiding their test results like they they'll give them to you i think i think Think. They'll give them to you if you ask. Good quality, which is something, you know, you, it's a really hard thing to find for like a lot of supplement companies to like have really good quality and things like that. So, and what do you think about the people you met? I thought they were great. Like, really, like the guy, as she said, like the guy that did the whole logistics center, like he came there on a Saturday and like he was so enthusiastic about shipping the boxes. I was like, damn, man, it's bro, so like, you're genuinely so, enthusiastic. you're so, like, yeah, he was, like, so, like, passionate about it. I'm yeah. like, bro, man, like, you, you're investing your Saturday <laughs> for us. Do they pay him well because it sounds like he's being paid off for <laughs> that shit? Or, like, did the boss, like, because they obviously were waiting for them to show up. They knew they were going to show up. So they're like, hey, warehouse people, you need to make a good impression on Veronica and her husband here. So if you talk up the company and act as enthusiastic as possible, I know you're a minimum wage employee just, like, packing boxes for us. You're just the little guy. We pay, like, what's the minimum wage in Utah fucking seven dollars or some shit <laughs> seven twenty five they're getting paid shit like absolute garbage and you know you know like someone high up is just like hey hey warehouse people can you just like make a really good impression on these people when they come in like if you do it i'll give you five hundred dollars and they're like yes sir because like what warehouse employee is that passionate about their job i doubt it i call bullshit on that too they got paid off like come on us to like show us your warehouse and like like, I've never seen somebody, like, be so enthusiastic about a job like that, so... That was beautiful. That was I know awesome. you have your call. Thank you. Go. Love you.
Okay, so I'm gonna finish this off, but there's still so much to share. Um, yeah, the products are just simply the best. And I'm gonna share a video after this on my stories that's called Genesis. And when I watched that, I just felt the heart of the company. And it's seven founders, uh, seven owners. Uh, but one of you guys mentioned Emily and following Emily, I could feel her light radiate through her social media presence. And it was another one of the reasons why I wanted to join. And this woman, she worked with another essential oils company back in the day. And she shares her story of how she left for integrity purposes. She was like, I wanted to sell pure oils and like these oils were compromised. Uh-huh. Here is some tea against Young Living. Please don't forget that Young Living tried to sue doTERRA when these people left and started doTERRA because honestly, I'm sure they left for good reasons. Like all the shit we know about Young Living, it's like, yeah, no fucking wonder they left and tried to start their own. If you told me that I had to join an MLM that sells essential oils and my choices were Young Living or doTERRA, I would choose doTERRA in a heartbeat. This is a hypothetical situation. I would never join another MLM in my life. However, if it was a life and death situation and they're like, you either join Young Living or you join doTERRA, I'm picking doTERRA because they're more transparent than Young Living and Young Living has had so much shit go wrong with them. I don't trust a single goddamn thing that Young Living does. And not that I trust doTERRA, but at the very least, like the people who started it left Young Living because they wanted to sell the same products but just like have a little bit of integrity. Although like if you really want to have integrity, like why has it got to be an MLM in the first place, you know? That's why I buy all my essential oils from Revive. Hashtag not spawns, but like Revive, I do use essential oils for aromatherapy purposes. I hardly ever even diffuse them. Sometimes I just like to like just sniff them. Like this one's not great. This is a dupe of the Young Living ones that they all say that they put in paint and then they paint their offices with it to bring them money. I forget what it's called, but this one's called Good Fortune. Yeah, I don't remember what the Young Living Dupe is called. But basically, I, I love Revive because on their website, they're openly against MLMs. And it's like, hey, doTERRA, like, you could have done that too. And you could have kept a lot more integrity. Whatever, we'll get back to it. You know, I couldn't do that. And I resonated to her story so much because it's very hard to leave something very good just for the sake of integrity. Just for the sake of integrity? I don't know. I think a lot of people put a lot of value on integrity for a very good reason. So don't sit here and be like, oh, ju just because of oh, this dumb thing called integrity? Like, no, it's a pretty important part of, like, being a human. Especially if you're a Jesus freak like Veronica. Like, I think you should actually care about integrity and, like, doing the right thing because, like, WWJD and all that. It's hard because most people will think you're insane. And just seeing that one of the owners of this company founded this company you know, out of, it, it was birthed out of something hard. And when you guys watch this video and you see the trials and tribulations that this company went through in the beginning and the fact that they got know, sued big to people shit. in Manhattan wanted to give them money to get the business going, but they wanted ownership and they wanted control. And these founders said, no, because then we're not gonna be able to give people the purest oils. And they literally, you know, put every single penny that they had in to carry this company through and the why of this company 14 years later is still so evident the mission of helping heal the world and people and you know that mission is still so clear to see and just the people that i interacted my friend victor the lawyer his wife christy there is just such pure people like they don't care about who I am or what I've done in the past. All they care about is that they met me and they liked me as a human and they just want to introduce me to what they love so, so much. Because you asked them to. You brought up that you were interested and that sent off all the light bulbs in their head and they're like, hey, we got to do this. We got, we got to get corporate in on this. They're coming to Utah. We got to get them on our team. We got to do everything we can to, to get them to join us instead of Q Sciences because she's on the edge here like she's about to join cute we got we gotta change her mind like it's so obvious like if they just wanted to share doTERRA with you they would have done it with you by now but the moment you said you were interested that's when they started doing it don't be this naive i know you're not this naive you've been in the business you know don't act like you don't know you're like victor has his own doTERRA page and he still does his law business but he says he's like what network marketing what this business in particular has done for our life my, my law practice can never do. And that's what I recognize too, is like network marketing has this huge power, 
you know, because we are connecting one another and we are, it's like the trade system from back in the day. Like we are selling good products that people need and people are buying and- Are you talking about like supply and demand? Cause that's still a thing. That's not from back in the day. Like supply and demand is still a thing. <laughs> hey Veronica, supply and demand is still a thing. Can someone let Veronica know that supply and demand is still a thing? We're still a capitalist society and we like run off of that shit, but all right. Whether you're buying an oil or you're buying laundry detergent or you're buying skincare, whatever you're buying, you're buying from a company that's so pure that you know that good is coming out of your purchase. And my goal is to get you guys to try the products and to love the products and buy everything that you can from the company because when you see what they're doing, it's amazing. So our oils are sourced from different countries all around the world depending on where they grow best here's another thing that doTERRA has on top of young living they admit this <laughs> young living is such shit man they have run their entire business trying to make people believe that young living grew all of their plants and made them all into consumable products on in their own hands like all those things no we found out all that shit's not true when <laughs> young living tried to sue doTERRA man young living sucks <laughs> We know Young Living sucks, but now it's just like right here, like out in the open. Young Living fucking sucks. For me to be like, oh yeah, doTERRA is a way better company than Young Living, considering that I don't think doTERRA is a good company at all in the grand scheme of things, speaks volumes about Young Living. Young Living is shit. Absolute dog shit. Is doTERRA perfect? No, but they have a lot more going for them than Young Living. So for example, our lemon essential oil comes from Italy. Why? Because the best lemons are grown in Italy. Lemons. And Lemons. <laughs> works with local farmers all around the world in places like Italy, in Somaliland, Brazil, all over. DoTerra is making a one-on-one -on -one connection with these local farmers and giving them businesses in order to provide the best product for our client. And that takes a lot of work. Most people will not do that. Most people will use brokers, the cheap product, watered down, chemically based in order to make it easier and make a buck. To be fair, I'm pretty sure that doTERRA had like an instance where they were found to be cut with synthetics also. Here, I'll Google it real quick. I mean, I think they've been through that shit too. In 2014, uh, Utah Stories posted a article that's called Damning Evidence That Young Living and doTERRA's Essential Oils Are Adulterated. Oh yeah, I did I did actually read this at one point um, because they talk about Dr. Robert Pappas because he used to work with Young Living and he's the one who, when Young Living was suing doTERRA, when all those people left Young Living to start doTERRA, Dr. Pappas ended up like testifying against Young Living for all these things. This is interesting. Dr. Pappas says that he didn't say a word of all of this, which is referring to all of the stuff that we've talked about before, um, how when he was testifying against Young Living in the lawsuit, he was basically saying that he found that their oils were cut with synthetic oils and Gary Young was trying to get Dr. Pappas to be like, just retract your statements. And Dr. Pappas is like, no, I have integrity. He didn't say a word of all this until he was called for a deposition in a case filed in 2013 whereby doTERRA international llc a oh, hello fat kitty you're a little too fat to be doing that i'm like whoa gravity <laughs> she's very heavy doTERRA was being sued by young living accused of using the certified therapeutic grade trademark for oils which are in fact adulterated with man-made synthetic compounds found in the case files are a series of reports from french laboratories and then they actually link a clickable link here that I'll click after this but it says that doTERRA's oils contain synthetic compounds a peppermint sample they tested was found to contain a synthetic molecule the report also concludes that synthetic linalil acetate was added to doTERRA's lavender oil note according to dr. Pappas these findings in these case files are suspect and then they have a follow-up story oh so is this just like propaganda this is just like young living propaganda okay so when you go to the the follow-up story in Utah stories it says according to dr. Robert Pappas the report that young living farms included in their case against doTERRA in 2013 does not appear to be conducted on oils that doTERRA sells that's pretty much it I mean that's that's basically the end of it I will try to remember to post these articles in the description of this video so you can go look at those if you feel so compelled to do so I guess maybe that was really the only situation where I felt like I had heard that 
that doTERRA was also using synthetic oils. I made that search on Google and that was pretty much the only thing that came up and Dr. Pappas was like, oh, uh, yeah, those reports that Young Living said that were doTERRA oils that were synthetic aren't actually tested using doTERRA's oils. So who knows? But at the very least to me, I'm just like, okay, yeah, more evidence that Young Living fucking sucks. Like, I'll take it, dude. When it comes to what companies I want to see shut down, like in chronological order, like Young Living and then like paparazzi are my top two that I'm like really focused on because I actually think that there is a very good chance that either of those companies could go down at any time. So I like to keep my focus on those things. Even if the damning evidence against Young Living comes from doTERRA, like I will take it. Anyway, let's continue watching here. We still got some more to go. We're only like halfway through the video. Ugh. Holy crap. And doTERRA was so against that because if you have a chemically made product or influenced product it's not going to have the healing um the healing properties that the natural essential oil would have than the pure essential oil would have and you know this co-impact movement that they have with farmers all around the world is so powerful like my direct mentors were just in bulgaria a couple days ago visiting a doTERRA distillery that was made in bulgaria where a ton of farmers get jobs because of our company. The hands-on impact that doTERRA is having on all of our customers who are using the products for a million different reasons, on the wellness advocates who are building businesses, on the farmers all around the world, I just said, I wanna be a part of this because I had already said my mission is, my mission is to be able to represent God's mission, whatever it is to do good in this world. I think of all the things that God is called to do, essential oils are not that. Hey, here's the thing. I don't know if you know this. Essential oils are processed. They are not naturally found in nature that way. They have to be processed that way by man. So wouldn't God's mission, like what God wants out of this, wouldn't it be like, oh, I don't know, just like plants in and of themselves, like in the way God intended them? Because essential oils are man-made. They're processed. How do you know? Like what tells you that essential oils are God's mission? They're like, that's what God wants to promote. Where is your evidence for that? Well, first of all, there is none. There is no evidence for that. People like this would make something up. They'll find any excuse to be like, this is what God wants. If what God truly wanted was to bring healing to the world, first of all, he wouldn't need your fucking essential oils to do it. He's God. He could snap his fingers and do it, okay? Obviously, he's not doing that. So let's say that hypothetically, he is using his creation, his human being creations to promote what he feels to be right. And let's say that thing is healing with nature, with the things that he created. It wouldn't be essential oils because God didn't create essential oils, man did. Depends on your views here. I don't believe that God created anything. I believe that man created God, but that's all my opinion. Anyway, if you are someone who does believe in God and wants to carry out his will, I would say that he would probably want to focus more on like plants that he put in nature, like he put them there, other than like having to process them. It's like because then all of the humans in all of history up until, don't quote me on this, but I think it might be like the 1700s where they started distilling essential oils the way that we do it now, like with steam distilling. Installation. I don't know if that's the right date. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. I'll put it on the screen or something. But up until that point, no one had these essential oils. So were all of the people in history leading up to that point just not special enough to have God's secret sauce? It makes no sense. None of it makes any sense. And I said, what company is doing the most good? What company is the purest? I want to work with a company whose morals and ethics and values I align with. Because when the going gets tough, you can trust in someone with integrity. And I just knew with doTERRA right away. And it crushed my heart because I love my friends from Q. And I hadn't even gone to see them yet, but my heart already knew. Like when God speaks to you, he speaks sharp. And I just, I knew. And I prayed on it and I said, I'm gonna keep an open heart. And Victor, my lawyer friend from doTERRA, he's like, I think you should go to Q. I think you should explore it because then you'll even know with more certainty if you wanna come to doTERRA. Of course That's he the said kind that. Of advice, the wisdom advice that I feel like I'm gonna have moving forward and that I'm gonna be counseled by all these- He had to say that because if he didn't, it would have felt like he was being too pushy. People who 
have amazing hearts and very big purposes in this world. Um, but anyway, someone asked, is it in Mexico? Yes. Something that I love about doTERRA, they're in Colombia, they're in Brazil, they're in Ecuador, they're in Chile. Um, so, you know, people were, one of the main things was like, why would you join this company? They're not a new company. Like it's saturated. And the truth is, if I thought that I could only succeed in a network marketing company, if it was new, then I wouldn't be a good network marketer. But like, that's how some of the biggest network marketers today operate. They jump ship. Whenever they find a new opportunity, they jump to the next one. So many network marketers that like we consider to be good network marketers do that. <laughs> but also she did that. You left Monet. So I don't know. I guess I'm just interested to see how this goes for her. I can't have that belief and with integrity recruit people. So I truly believe in network marketing and I do not believe that you have to get in in the beginning to be successful at it. But like statistically, that's the way it goes though. Like let's not beat around the bush here. Like that's just literally how network marketing works. It's all about timing. And even some of the biggest network marketers out there will tell you that, that it's all about timing. And this experience is gonna prove me right or wrong. But I asked the questions and I looked at the numbers and Florida, is the state where the most products are sold in the United States and we have only 2.5 or less than 2.5% of the pop Floridian population is buying your oils. More than New York, really? Republicans love capitalism and they'll consume the shit out of anything. Capitalists love consuming shit, so maybe. Really, you're gonna say that more people buy shit in Florida than in like New York City? Like maybe, that doesn't sound right to me though, but also capitalism, so who knows? You know, so yes, we're a more established brand that has so much more to grow and there's so much room for expansion, not only nationwide, but worldwide and I'm not going to let the limiting beliefs of other people stop me. And, you know, whoever thinks, oh, but that company is, you know, I've heard all things from like, but isn't it like all old people? <laughs> like what? That's a great opportunity. If everyone that's growing it, and I will tell you. Did you just call me old Veronica Bay? Canceled. Done. Veronica Bay canceled. <laughs> A lot of the people that I met in the company are older people. And guess what? They built massive businesses offline. I want to learn from them because I grew where if you don't post on social media, you don't make money. And that's just not the truth of the industry. Really? Well, now you're just like trying to justify your shit. That's not true. It's 2023. The world basically operates on social media now. Like, because what else are you going to do? If you're not posting your doTERRA shit on social media, then what is your plan, Veronica? Are you going to get some people into your car while you're driving around to see properties while you're doing realtor shit, going to show some properties and stuff, and like have a little doTERRA air freshener hanging in your car and then just kind of like do some spritzing and stuff and be like oh you like the smell of that it's doTERRA like what what is your plan if it's not social media then what is it I'm curious welcome to 2023 because like before social media people were like sending letters to people in snail mail to be like hey do you want to join my team <laughs> Here's a catalog, please join my team. It's unnecessary now. Everything is virtual, everything is digital. I don't even know what, like, why am I even telling you this? You know, you are watching this digitally, come on. <laughs> and I feel like actually from these quote unquote old people have so much to learn. Um, so guys, I'm incredibly excited. And to add more to all of this, um, the girl that I joined, so my friend Victor, his wife, Christy, um, she has the fastest growing Spanish team. So this woman, mind you, they're business people. He's a lawyer and she was a photographer before and she's dominating the industry, dominating the business. So this woman has created this whole university. They invested almost $100,000 into this for the Spanish community. So for those of you guys that said, will you be growing the Spanish community? I think it was so strategic that I ended up meeting them because I always had this fear of growing with the Spanish community because I felt like I wasn't good enough to create resources in Spanish. Okay, here's the thing is that literally at the New Year's kickoff for 2023, Young Living and Amari apparently, I've been told that Amari said that this they have a similar plan of action here. Young Living specifically said that they're going to be going after the Spanish market. So of course, if Young Living says they're gonna do that, doTERRA is right behind because doTERRA is gonna wanna 
of pick up on all that shit also. Young Living has specifically said that that's what they're doing. They are very openly targeting the Latino population. They came out right out the gate and said that shit. They also said, hey, there's a big economy there. I know we all think that people who speak Spanish are poor, but they got money. They literally said that. Not word for word, but that is what they said. Racist as fuck. No, a lot of MLMs are, are cracking down on who they're recruiting and why, and a lot of that is coming, is funneling back to uh, the Latino population. It's really messed up. Like, that was a 2023 thing. They all were just like, yeah, we're gonna focus on recruiting Latino people. Not even kidding. I wish I was kidding. It's fucked up, but nope, not kidding. Felt like it was like a mental block and now anyone that joins my team that is in the Spanish community has everything and more that they can desire. And as it is, doTERRA has so many incredible learning tools, launching tools, resources. I have this business building book over there that I'm just obsessed with that I'm like, when they, they create things with intention and they create things with their people in mind. So anyways, I've talked a lot. Um, and guys, whoever has left bad comments, just ignore them. Like, we have to recognize that some people are literally just so unhappy and telling them that they're bad people is just making them more unhappy. I would rather just ignore. No, tell me that I'm a bad person. I love that shit. I thrive off that shit. Actually, I get more content off of that shit. So please, by all means, do it. Um, yeah, no, actually, we'll have to come back to that because I was sent some screenshots of people who were watching this live while it was happening. So there's like a few screenshots of people in the chat saying like just stupid, <laughs> stupid and funny trolly shit. And uh, I'll read those screenshots to you at the end of this here. There were some fellow anti MLMers in the chat. You know, I wasn't there, but I was sent the screenshots from people who were there. And and y'all did a great job just trolling the shit out of her. It, I mean, I'm sorry, but it was funny. I wish I was there, really, because there were probably a lot more where those screenshots came from. I'm gonna share that video that I told you. It's called Genesis, which how funny that they name it with a biblical name, right? Like the beginning. Funny? I wouldn't call it funny. I would call it absolutely strategic. Like they did that on purpose. It's not just like a silly coincidence. No, they did that shit on purpose. And that video had me crying. And oh, if God. you are like me and you could feel energy and you could feel purity, you're gonna feel it. I'm obsessed with who these people are. Um, I loved, and a lot of you also said, I love doTERRA, I love the products, guys, my own father. I was telling him I joined this company and his wife was like, oh my God, I have done a bunch of online research and I found that doTERRA was amazing. So we have the immunity pills at home. And I was like, that's awesome. And I don't see that as a bad thing. I see that as a good thing. Why would you see that as what? a bad thing? Their products are loved, loved by many. And so many people that I speak to, or like in Austin, I was there for my friend's wedding. I was uh, carpooling with someone and I was telling them that I was going to do to Utah after and I was gonna see doTERRA. They pulled out doTERRA uh, peppermint beadlets from their pocket and she's like, oh my God, I love them so much. So it just feels so cool to be aligned with a company that's so loved. Like if you search them up on Google, there's amazing reviews and so many people don't even know that it's network marketing. What? Hold on, I paused that like right at the right time where I'm like, what? It sounds like if you Google doTERRA and anti-MLM videos aren't coming up, sounds like we're not making enough videos about doTERRA and we need to do more. We need to do better. What are we doing? We need to focus more on doTERRA. See, people don't even really notice that they're even network marketing. How do you not know that at this point? doTERRA is one of the bigger ones out there. How do you not know that? it has been grown by you know a different kind of person a lot of these people that built with doTERRA build offline and I'm just so excited to bring this product to you and as you guys know if you've been following me for long enough I've been in a healing journey for many years from removing my breast implants to removing my root canals to being more intentional about my fitness to be more intentional about what I consume listen I know that breast implants I've heard like all the breast implant illnesses and things um is there a thing with root canals too someone will tell me in the comments but like are suddenly are, are people removing root canals because of the same reasons damn like I don't go to the dentist and my teeth are fine mm, see they're fine I just like have always 
always gotten like a bad vibe from them. Once they start like digging around in your mouth and stuff, like suddenly you have to start going like annually or else you're gonna start getting, like that's when you start getting dental problems and stuff. And I'm like, I don't wanna fuck with that. But also I feel like they're very profit driven and I don't like that. But also, I mean, listen, I know that the American healthcare system in general is like that, but like, I don't know. I don't wanna contribute to the corruption more than I need to. Like I'll go to a dentist if I need to, but right now I don't need to. That being said, so are root canals bad? This is news to me. Trying to, you know, leave alcohol as much as possible. And to think that now my life mission is going to be helping other people heal in their health while also being a leader, while also being a mentor, while being around a company that everyone in that company, for the most part, they're Mormons and their faith is everything. And the reason why they do so much good is because they believe they're on this planet to do good. Okay, well, so does Young Living and also like basically any other MLM, but all right. And I get to be a part of that. And I just feel so blessed and honored that God intervened. Like, what are the chances? What are the chances that I told somebody that I wanted to join network marketing and they were like, oh, I'm in a network marketing company that also loves God. Oh, what's that? Every single MLM is like, God, 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What are the chances? Dude, I would be more pressed for you to find an MLM that isn't foundationally like built on Christian values or Mormon. Well, I guess Mormons are, you know, a branch off of Christianity or whatever, but I would be really interested for you to find what companies are not built on that fundamentally because most of them are that's why fucking utah is the mlm capital of the world because the mormons and the religious people love mlms <laughs> what are the chances i don't know pretty high you could have picked any MLM. Pick any MLM and you're gonna find that a lot of it is religion centered. Shocking, I know. What are the chances? Like 99%? <laughs> the chances that I meet a lawyer at a real estate event who tells me he's a top earner at a company that's in Utah and I was already going to Utah and his company's having an event the same weekend I'm gonna be there. I've already described this, but really the chance, like it is not as much of a miracle as you're trying to make it sound like. If you call it a coincidence, we don't speak the same language. I wouldn't even call it a coincidence. I would just say a natural progression of things. That's just how, yeah, yeah, yep, it seems about right. Like, you're gonna sit here and be like, uh, yeah. What are the chances of all these things happening that, like, seem to be sequential? What are the chances of me going to a grocery store and saying, excuse me, ma'am, do you sell apples here? And she said, why, yes, we actually do. What are the chances of that? Seriously, like, that's, that's basically what I'm hearing. You're gonna take human nature, mix it, it with like religion fundamentalism and then like mix it with like cult-like behavior mlms mix it all together when you vocalize that you're thinking about joining an mlm what are the chances that someone in my life is in an mlm even though i've been in network marketing and i've been very successful in network marketing what are the chances that someone i know is a top earner in an mlm oh man i don't know must be god uh sounds like it's a statistical likelihood come on veronica but it was God. Oh, and yay. I am, I'm not Mormon, I'm Christian, but Mormons are Christians. So we pretty much are, you know, uh, believing in the same thing. No, you're um, not. Mormons believe, I'm not an expert on Mormonism, but I'm pretty sure Mormons believe that when you die, you like inhabit your own planet or some shit like that. That's not a fundamental Christian belief. That is strictly a Mormon thing. There's a lot of shit that Mormons believe in that Christians don't believe in. So they have their own book. So you don't believe in the same things. Mormons saw the Bible and they said, let's add a continuation onto that. And they wrote their own new Bible. <laughs> you don't believe in the same things. Guys, stop fighting with these trolls, man. Like, <laughs> they don't have anything better to do. And you let people like that, like, you don't give them your time. I've learned that lesson so many times. Like, if you let your pressure rise, if you let pointless people stress you out, they have won. <laughs> she right, people though. people with bad intentions, God takes care of them. And that's why I never feel the need to pull up the receipts on every single person that has done me wrong because God takes care of them. Yeah, I'm just fucking miserable right now. <laughs> I'm sitting here reacting to your video and, and God just keeps like, 
sending lightning bolts down at my back. I'm suffering. Oh, I'm suffering. <laughs> Veronica, please. I fucking love it. Like, this is my bread and butter, okay? This is what I do this for. I love it. It is my favorite content in the world to react to when these people are talking about the trolls, aka us. She's literally talking about me here. If she sees this video, she'd just be like, that poor unfortunate soul. She needs Jesus. I had Jesus for 25 years of my life, sweaty. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED talk and listening for me speak to and hearing me speak for so long if you don't like me like you're really invested god bless you thank you for giving me free content you must be so invested in me i mean i guess i have to be because like this is my job so but thank you you make my job so much easier thank you veronica like seriously god bless you if you're ready to be on my team um i will be getting off the live i will be sharing on my stories the YouTube video Genesis, you need to watch that. I want you to understand the heart of doTERRA before you join me. I want you to be as in love as I am right now because this feels amazing. Like purpose has been reignited in a whole different level and I'm so excited and I want you to be just as excited. So I'll share those videos and then I'll share forms that you could fill out whether you just wanna try the products and go on the journey as a client or you wanna become a wellness advocate. Guys, super cool. Like. If you want to do the business, all you need to do is buy the products and there's no like there's packages, but you could also make your own package. So there's a bunch of different prices where you could start at. If you want to do the business, you are required to have a monthly uh, purchase. OK, and I really like that because if you're going to do the business, you should be invested. And if you're not going to be invested, it's OK. Be a client because guess what? Clients get the same discounts on the products as us. You are a client if you join the business opportunity but you're having to put in an auto ship every single month guess what above all else you are a customer so we have these th things called wholesale customers and our wholesale customers get the same discounts as um <laughs> okay let's who do i need to take out <laughs> someone just tell me Look at how flustered she is. Let's just do this real quick. <laughs> Turning off all the comments and shit. Oh. Uh, Turn me off, okay. Danny. <laughs> okay, Brenda has been kicked out. Thanks, guys. Andrea. Let her comment again because I don't know where she is. Okay, Brenda was not me. If you remember like a year, dude, when was it? Maybe a year ago, last year, maybe two years ago. Oh my God. Uh, I infiltrated like an Arbon Zoom and I forgot to <laughs> change my picture. It was just like a shitty Photoshop of me holding a shark and looking all muscly. And I said my name was Brenda. <laughs> That is one of my best videos today, honestly, I swear. It's a great one. It's a fucking classic. However, that Brenda was not me. I was not involved in this. Back to what we're talking about. It's not blocking. It's honestly, it's too much, too much happening. I'm trying to talk and there's like then stop reading the comments. Tell us more about the products. So all you need to know about the products is the purity of it. So the essential oils are distilled from natural plants. Okay. Natural plants as opposed to unnatural plants. That you're getting the purity of it all. <laughs> okay, so if you think about when God created this world, he created nature to heal us. What doTERRA is doing is bringing us back to nature. I don't remember the Bible saying that. I remember the Bible saying that God created the animals and the birds and blah, 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 blah. I don't remember him saying that he did that in order to heal humans. Don't think the Bible says that. I think you're just making that up, Veronica. <laughs> So it's crazy because like peppermint oil, the amount of positive effects that it has had on our life in our house. And it's just a peppermint oil, but it's the purity of it. If I were to go buy a random peppermint oil that is not pure, that hasn't been distilled in the proper way and extracted in the proper way, it wouldn't be pure and it wouldn't be potent. So it wouldn't be healing. And that is the difference with doTERRA is that it was founded with that mission of if we're really going to heal, we can't lack quality. 
I would love to see Veronica try to put peppermint oil in her bath. Oh man, I would pay to see that. Even one drop of peppermint oil in a bath? Don't do it. It's a bad idea, sis. I would love to see her like unknowingly be like, I'm gonna put peppermint in my bath water today. Just to see what the fuck happens. Oh, it would be so funny. I would pay to see that. So they are in, they are part of the process of creating these essential oils. And out of these essential oils, they create all these other other um, uh, products. So right now the shampoo that I'm using is a bar. It, it's like a bar of shampoo and a bar of conditioner from doTERRA. Um, they have all sorts of things like mouthwash, laundry detergent, um, vitamins, fiber. So I've ordered three times already because I'm just obsessed with the products and I'm like, wait, I need to try more because I need to be able to talk to people about everything and, and know that I've tried it. So how much have you spent already just launching your business? How much have you spent? Sounds like a pretty big investment, Veronica. I don't think most people would be able to invest in that way. You have a lot more money than other people do. Interesting. But one thing that I will tell you guys that has been like night and day is the multivitamins and it blows my mind because i'm a healthy woman like we eat well in our house my husband cooks but our food is so depleted our food is so depleted that everyone needs to supplement nowadays our soil is messed up all of our stuff is sprayed and we need to supplement and i had not taken a multivitamin ever so sometimes i would take like specific supplements but never a multivitamin okay so how can you say that doTERRA's multivitamin is any better than any other multivitamin you would have ever taken any other multivitamin out there you've never taken another multivitamin so yeah if you go from not taking any vitamins at all to suddenly you're on a strict vitamin regimen you're probably yeah gonna see some kind of difference and it's gonna sound amazing to you but really like it's not a doTERRA a specific thing you can go to freaking CVS and buy a multivitamin and it'll probably do the same thing if not more because CVS isn't fucking using essential oils they're using like clinically proven ingredients but <laughs> I digress and all these people at the event were like this is game changing like this this and that so they come out of order let's see what happens guys the amount of energy and focus that I felt since taking that multivitamin and my sex drive, sorry if that's too much information, has been on a whole other level. Okay, so nature, <laughs> nature heals you. This is something you don't hear the Young Living people talk about. I mean, I've, I've never really heard of any of these essential oil huns being like, yeah, my essential oils cured my sex drive. I mean, like they talk about hormone imbalances and stuff like that, but never like very specifically like this. So it's really interesting that out of all the things that she's gonna specify that essential oils have helped her with, her go-to is her sex drive. Like that's interesting. Should have joined Pure Romance, sis. Oh, but you only get paid on your <laughs> level one now with pure romance so that wouldn't be a very profitable situation for you to have jumped into okay yeah might as well stick with essential oils then no but really it's just i feel more alive like more vitality more energy uh so i'm really loving that i'm loving uh meta power also which is for metabolic health and um i drink it in the morning and it's like my morning pick me up um, and it really just gives me energy and also suppresses my appetite. Like I'm not constantly hungry. And when I do get cravings, I just have a couple drops of MetaPower because it curves your cravings. And it's crazy because today when Marcus and I were eating, I was like, oh, why should you serve me so much? And he's like, I'm serving you the same. I eat a lot, okay? And like lately I've just been getting full faster. So there's a ton of amazing, amazing products. Dude, she doesn't need to lose weight. If you look at a girl like this and, you, and she's like, oh yeah, like my appetite has been suppressed. I'm like, you're gonna lose weight and you should not lose weight. Does anyone else feel that way when you're looking at Veronica? Like you don't need to be losing weight. Your appetite does not need to be suppressed. That doesn't sound healthy for someone with her body type, but what do I know? And I cannot wait. And yes, I got a diffuser, but I ordered two more because uh, I wanted bigger ones because we have a really big bedroom not really really big but it's pretty big um but i can't wait to create content i can't wait to start sharing i like didn't even know how to come out about this but i just knew that i had to come out about it soon because i was so freaking excited about everything about the company about the products about how my health how i'm feeling in my health and knowing that i can give that to someone about having trust in what i'm selling and where it's coming from and our products guys they have like barcodes and you could scan the barcodes and doTERRA so fun fact 
Um, there was no standards to essential oils before doTERRA. There still aren't standards. doTERRA made their own standards. These are doTERRA standards, not industry-wide. So she's gonna be like, oh, the therapeutic grade is all doTERRA, which is true. Yeah, doTERRA, I'm pretty sure, coined that term. But this is, like, doTERRA doesn't oversee the entire essential oil industry, you know? Like, they are just another essential oil company. Like, they set their own standards. So you can't hold every other company to those same standards. The big problem that the founders had because they knew that all these essential oils that were being sold, that were being claimed to be pure, they were not pure, but they were being claimed to be pure and they were being bought by brokers that were, you know, not selling the real deal. So they created a standard for essential oils and they test every single essential oil that comes through to make sure that it's pure and that it's potent. And if ever they receive a batch that isn't that, they sell it off. I believe that's what they said that they do with it. Don't quote me on that part. But, um, and then they also do third party testing. And when you get the essential oils, you get to scan the barcode and you get to see all of the science and all of the information, et cetera. Like the attention to detail, the amount of care, the amount of love that they have into this business. Again, that's great that they do that, but it just brings me to like, that should be bare minimum, you know? That should be like the bare minimum standard that every essential oil company does. So it's wild to me that Young Living still won't do it. I just want you to feel it for yourself. So as I said, if you're interested in trying the products, I've created a form for that. If you're interested in doing the business, I've also created a form for that. I'll probably be reaching out to the, in the form for the business, it says like, are you ready to start? And if it's a yes, I'll be reaching out to those people first. And then I'll probably do a business call on Monday or Tuesday. I will share details on that. And I have no, I, I, I'm just like, I know I'm at the right place and I know I'm with the right people. And I feel so blessed and so grateful to have ended up here. And so much happened over the last year. And there were so many moments that I felt so lost. And all those moments, all those moments when I had to question myself made me really become intentional about what makes Veronica, Veronica. And because I was so clear on what, on who I am and on what I desire, I believe that's the reason I was able to attract this very place that embodies everything that I am. And I'm going to show you guys something very personal, um, which is my vision board. And I made this vision board, I believe in like December. And I was lost in the sauce. I had no idea really what I wanted. I had made the decision to leave this other company. Um, and as I already mentioned, like I departed that company simply because the product was not it for me. Like I could not build a business for years to come when I wasn't in love with the product. And it's not that it's a bad product, but I'm not a trader and I wanted to become one. And then I realized this is like a lot of hours in front of a computer. It's just not for me. And that's, that's okay. So when I made this vision board, I had no idea about anything. But if you see this vision board and you see like where I am right now and what I'm about to build, it's like God was telling me and he was giving me the roadmap without me even knowing. And I, when I showed Marcus my vision board, he's like, huh, like, where are we going with this? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know where the heck we're going with this. Um, but here we are. So if you see this woman, she reminds me a lot of the women that I met at doTERRA. Women of wisdom, women who are humble, women who have a good head on their shoulders and who are here to be women and provide and serve and everything. And this over here, it's a big world. What moves you makes you. I feel like was such a pivotal part because someone just asked if I'm still did she have a freaking jet on there? She's like, in 2023, I want to make enough money to buy a fucking jet. A private jet. We all know where your mind was, Veronica. In real estate, yes, I'm still in real estate and I'm still a realtor and I'm still going to practice and I've got girls that I work with and I love my team, but it's not going to give me the freedom that network marketing is going to give me. So I'm going to build this business and I'm going to grow this business because it's going to give me more of what my heart desires, which is to be a dedicated mom and be a dedicated wife and all of that. And um, you guys are so funny and helpful in the chat. But yeah, it's a big world. What do you prefer? I feel like that's a question I had to ask myself because I think I could be whatever I want to be. And I think I've told you guys this before. Like I literally feel like I can do anything. I could even be, my hair is a little dirty, don't judge me. 
I could even be like an actress if I wanted to. Um, <laughs> so what do you want to be? And I think that reflecting on this question really told me I love network marketing and I'm grateful for it. And it's your heart that takes you places. And I could have made a decision based on money. I could have gone with the shiniest object. I could have gone with the best comp plan or with the most momentum or, and no, I went with what my heart was telling me because my heart will always be my logic. I'm sorry, but like, she's trying to make this connection to be like, see, I didn't know where any of this was bringing me. Like, it was just like, God was showing me the roadmap. I'm looking at all these pictures and all these things, like none of this says essential oils. None of this says doTERRA. None of this says get back into network marketing. Like it could have been anything. Again, it's confirmation bias. You, you want to see that God had this plan for you and you don't know why you put a private jet on your vision board but you just felt called to do so you don't know why you did this and that I don't know it's because God made me do it and now it makes so much sense no it doesn't if she were to put stuff on here to be like I want to go all natural non-toxic like low tox lifestyle and all this stuff and then she's like I don't know how I'm gonna do that I don't even know what that means maybe you got something there but it wasn't that she just put a picture of a lady who's wearing kind of like boho chic clothes and has like naturally wavy hair like she looks like a natural spiritual woman but not like a christian spiritual woman which is what she wants to be so that's like totally even different there none of this says the things that she says it's saying she's just trying to find meaning in something where there's no meaning at all and my heart is guided by god and my mind is guided is guided by the world and i'm not of the world so anyways this is my vision board and this is the little baby that i'm manifesting but a lot of nature a lot of nature, a lot of purity. She points at this boho woman and she's just like, a lot of nature. What, uh, just because she's wearing clothes that looks like she's a hippie, it means nature? Like, no, don't try to add these like hidden meanings. You're being ridiculous. That's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and share. <laughs> Discernment is such a real thing. Um, you know, and I just wanna encourage you guys to follow your heart and follow what's right. And so many times what's right for you is gonna make no sense to anyone. Like even Marcus, when I initially told him I wanted to get back into network marketing, he said, are you crazy? But he didn't understand what God was stirring up in my mind and in my heart. Like he didn't, he's my husband and he's like my best friend and my other half. But only you in prayer with, with your creator know what's for you. So I'm, become really like not about asking people for advice because a lot of times people people's advice are blocking your blessings and there are a lot of people that so then why should anyone take your advice veronica why should anyone join your team your courage your boldness is irritating to them because they don't have an inch of that and sometimes you'll be triggering them without them even knowing but now that you know seeing their reactions is holding you back from what you know you have to do so um you know just that's why it's so important to have a relationship with God. Amen. So that is it. Um, my mentor right now, the girl that I signed up with, Christy and her husband, Victor, they're in Europe. So they're in a time difference, but I definitely hope to do a live with them soon. They are just amazing people. Um, and just like people I want to be like. And I think that that's so cool. I feel like over the past few months, I've met a lot of people that I can look up to. And I feel like I didn't really have that for a while. Um, and it was my fault. I think a lot of, in my reflection, a lot of what I learned is that a lot of the things that I was going through was because I put myself in the situations. And you always have the power to raise your voice and to let your concerns be known and to move if you're uncomfortable with where you are. And I think if I would have done that sooner, I wouldn't have had to bolt out of the company that I bolted out of because I think I just put everything under the rug and then it just all exploded and I was like what the fuck like I can't be here I'm so out of my authenticity here um and if I would have just had you know honest conversations and made decisions to you know step away from specific people who I felt like were just not in not in line with who I was and who I was becoming everything would have been okay but anyways you live and you learn and i think that's the most important part about every single chapter of our life is being able to look back and reflect and not just look at oh well they did that wrong also reflect and say well when i'm in that same situation again 
how am I going to make sure that it's not as painful? And it was very painful and it was very traumatic and <laughs> literally mess. I just think it's funny that she's basically like looking back on her time with Monet and she's like, it was traumatic. Love that for us. Not for you. I wouldn't wish trauma on anybody, but love that for the anti-MLM movement. Love that. It really adds to our narrative that MLMs are just like shitty traumatic pieces of shit company. <laughs> How did I end up there? And yeah, that's just like some advice that I have for all of you. Um, so I send you all a big hug. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support to the real ones that stayed till the end, right? Because most people just want to get on and get the tea and get out. Um, but I'll be sharing those links now. I'm so excited to build again. I'm so excited to hopefully build with people who share my passion for wellness, for health, for giving back, for God. And I just hope to be the best influence in your life, the best leader. If you're just a client, I hope to best, you know, guide you and help you in your health and of course we always have my husband marcus who i always talk to him about like what i'm thinking um and if i'm looking at specific oils i'm like always asking for his feedback so he doesn't know this yet but we're gonna do the business together no he's actually super excited to give you know all the products to his clients and it's a new journey and i'm so excited and thank you to give them to his clients or to sell them to his clients he's not giving shit to anybody dude come on i love you all and i hope you have a great night bye guys all right, I guess that's it. Real quick before we end, let me just show you some of the screenshots I was sent. I was only sent three of them, so it, it'll be quick, don't worry. Some comments that people were posting while she was going off about this. In this screenshot, <laughs> someone commented, do you get a free Cadillac too? <laughs> See, that's just being a troll. Does Soterra have a car program? I'm not sure, but that is funny. And also they put free in quotation marks because we all know at this point now, right? That the car programs and MLMs are just, they're not free cars. Here's one where this must have been when she was talking about how like doTERRA, like so many people like don't even know it's an MLM, right? Remember she said that? Someone commented and said, it's not saturated at all. So many people don't know about it. <laughs> are we talking about the same company, ma'am? I don't know if that's a troll comment or someone being serious. I think they're being serious. And then right after that, someone said, so do you no longer use Monate products? Is integrity why you left Monate? I wish she would have answered that question. Well, she did say that. She did say she left Monate because of integrity. But it's really interesting that like, if the if the products were so good while she was in Monate, the integrity behind the products shouldn't change how effective the products are. So like, if she had any integrity, she would probably still be using Monate products. But it sounds to me like she's not. Well, she did just say that she's using a special like sh soap bar, shampoo bar, and conditioner bar from doTERRA. So yeah, I guess it's uh, fair to say that she's not using money anymore. Integrity who? We don't know her. Integrity as long as it benefits you, honey. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, we're gonna end it here. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. If you did, and now real quick, let's thank my patrons and my members. You guys, uh, the list of names I'm about to read off are my financial supporters. They get access to things like our private Discord server. We have a postcard club. We get early access to videos, and sometimes even more than that. So if any of that sounds good to you, you can go to patreon.com slash savannah marie or you can click the join button beneath this video to join my uh youtube memberships whatever works best for you works fine for me and with that the biggest thank you in the whole wide world goes to hula chowdown janelle pratt jacqueline nutton amanda shannon elizabeth wyatt kisesi drew nitty dragon leanne sheila tapia amy dolanak caroline reed charlotte treese daniel urena maddie darley ray shayna tuesday the 13th turd ferguson my camouflaged life Ari, Martin Hubert, Amy Louise, Mitchie 84, Mira SIK, LaSalle Story, Laura Jensen, Mother Dragon 82, Han Bjornsson, Baby Pink Pearl, Fallon Lowry, Hannah, Miss Blue, Carrie K, Love to Be Evil, The Best Elephant, Jessica Bilhart, Jess Kronfeld, Emion, and Auntie Lou. And to the rest of my financial supporters, thank you so much for being here and for being you. And even if you're not a financial supporter, thanks for making it to the end of this video. YouTube loves watch time, so I appreciate you being here. You just being here at the end of this video helps get my videos and my channel pushed out to more people so i appreciate it so much keep making waves babes and i smell you all later mommy tsunami out